Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and today we are going to be checking out the Vincenzo Galaxy by MaxMike181. Now, this is, of course, based on the very famous Lancia Stratos, and for this testing video, we are actually going to be on the Stadium Super Trucks map as opposed to the Summer Testing Grounds map, but for those of you guys that wanted to see the bridge jump, trust me, there are plenty of jumps on this map that we are going to be attempting very soon. So, I've gone ahead and made sure that I'm already max rank, just in case there's anything that's rank locked on this thing, but I haven't driven it at all yet, so there may may or may not be rank locked parts, but I wanted to go ahead and get my rank handled right off the bat just to make sure that we had the best chance of being able to fully customize it. Now, straight into the customization, we're going to be starting with a, let's see, oh wow, we've already got an S power to weight rating with the very first, like, 5.8. Then we go up to the 6.2, then we go up to the 6.2 T, which gives us an S plus. That, if that doesn't give us enough, like, enough oomph to get up and over the jumps, I don't know what will. Now, gearbox-wise, you have the stock, Freeway, SnowRunner, and CrawlerBox Scout Gen 3. I think I'm going to start with the Freeway because that should prioritize the speed. Now, suspension-wise, we've got Stock and we've got Raised. Now, the Raised suspension doesn't really raise it all that much, but it does give it a very rally-inspired look, which I think is really good for these cars. I mean, after all, these had a massive history in rallying. So I think we're going to actually go with the raised. I think it should also handle the jumps better as well if we go with the raised. Now, do we have any custom tires or are they all kind of default tires? I think they're pretty much all default tires, but I wonder if some of the coding for them has been adjusted a little bit. There's a good chance that it may have, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the ones that have sort of a, there we go, kind of a BFG KO2 style look. And I think they really do fit the car nicely once you actually get it lifted up on that more rally style suspension. Now, winch-wise, Autonomous Scout Plus for sure. Spare wheel, eh, I don't know if I want to put that in there yet because I really like the clean look of the back end. Now, let's see. Emergency Supply Pod. That's 50 repair parts and 3 units of fuel. I mean, it's not necessarily going to be, you know, something you'll use to repair other vehicles, but it's definitely more of a, you know, emergency kind of get you home type thing. Now, rooftop-wise, Round Beacon, just in case you need to make everybody aware that you are on your way. You can also put some rally lights up front, which I do really, really like. And then let's see. You can throw some LED fog lights up top as well, so you have literally all the light. And then let's see. Yar wheels one, two, chrome wheels, and let's see. Ooh. Now that's an interesting selection. I'm not sure why you would put P12 wheels on it, but like if you really wanted to, then uh, I mean, go for it. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to stick with Yar Wheels number one. And then, let's see. In custom paint options, we should have quite the variety. I actually like how there's a big variety of, like, you know, multiple different gray colors, multiple different white colors. And, of course, like, you could have kind of almost, almost deep gray that's, like, nearly black. And then this is, like, completely blacked out. You really can go just about whatever route you want to go uh, when you're painting this thing. Now, I think, I actually, I kind of dig the yellow. The yellow's a bit different, but I also like the green. I like, I like that, actually, as well. The orange looks really good. Oh, I'm going back and forth. Like, so many really nice colors to choose from on this thing. I think I'm going to go with a nice blue. Yeah, I think the blue really suits it, actually. Yo, oh, wait a minute. We could put beans in here, but it's more like we could put beans on the floor rather than beans on the dash. A little bit odd, but I'm definitely down for it. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Take it to the track and see what it can do, as opposed to taking it around the testing grounds. Now, don't worry about the completely turtled Hummer right there. It's fine. Literally, don't worry about it. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, my God, it's quick. Yeah, with the highway box and the... Uh, oh, God, at the top engine, it's very quick. Let's see how it actually does around the main circuit. Well, I shouldn't say the main circuit, but rather the oval track. What's it like? It Yo, that interior view is actually super sick. It's really easy to control, too, in a slide on pavement. Now, I do want to switch up the transmission in a little bit and see if I can get more speed out of that Gen 3 crawler box. I don't know if that'll still have a good high range, but, like, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best that it does. Now, this would be really fun to get a bunch of these together with your friends and take them to a track and race them. And the cool thing about it is that with this suspension, you could race it on a paved track, you could race it on a dirt track, and all you would really need to do is make sure you had a decent set of all-terrain tires, and then you'd be fine. All right, main jump, let's go! Whoa, okay. Yeah, I was, I mean, I was in sixth. I was maxed out in sixth gear, and it was not about it. So we're definitely going to try and change the gearbox. But check this out. Pop-up headlights, boys! I am so, I am just so blown away that something in SnowRunner now has functional pop-up headlights. Dude, 
Pop-up headlights gang is going to go wild for this thing. Now, let's try this one. Let's see. I don't know if that gearbox is going to necessarily give me the... Whoa! Okay. Yeah, that crawler box is eight speeds in automatic mode. That's definitely going to be faster. All right, let's attempt this again with the... Oh, with the upgraded Max Mike gearbox. If it doesn't make the jump with this, I don't know what we're going to do. There's seventh. Come on, give me eighth gear. There's eighth gear. Come on, please. Nope. Well, I can tell you one thing. He definitely did not tune it for this map. And that's not a bad thing. It's just kind of one of those things where I figured... I, I figured that, you know, the upper level gearboxes would be able to clear that jump. But, uh, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it because there is a way to get it across. It might not be the most conventional way to get it across, but there is a way to get it across. Now, what way is that, you might ask? Well, I'm going to grab the Ares real quick. I'm going to give it a bulletproof engine and a fast gearbox real quick. And we're not going to really worry about any of the other options. We're just going to do that. We're going to winch it to the front, and then we're just going to pull it across the jump. Because I really want to see how it drives on the rest of the track, because I feel like it would handle great. But if it's not going to do the first jump, we're going to we're gonna pretty much have to make it do the first jump, aren't we? All right, let's get you around the corner. Where are you going? Stay with me. Don't aim yourself at the concrete. I would really appreciate it if you would, like, not do that. All right, let's go. Sending it! That's one way to make it do the jump. All right, so now we're here. And we're going to go ahead and swap back into the uh, Vincenzo Galaxy. And do a quick repair so that it looks like we cleared the jump just fine. Never mind the fact that there's a random uh, Silverado just chilling out right there. And going into the first corner, it's definitely it's definitely something where you feel like it's always wanting to it's always wanting to respond to what you tell it to do. It's definitely not one of those vehicles in Snowrunner where you're gonna complain about the slow steering response. I mean, look at that. It drifts so nicely, it's so smooth in the corners. Oh, it's not going to be happy about this ramp, is it? Oh, that's flat out in eighth gear, and it still can't do it. Man, I just, I wish that it was able to do this map. I really do. And that's the thing is, like, again, I don't want it to seem like I'm, you know, talking down to this thing because it can't necessarily do all the jumps on this racetrack. I love the way it drives. I just wish it had that tiny little bit more oomph to clear these jumps. Now, granted, I'm sure there are many other racetrack maps that it could do just fine, but this map is one of those maps that, like, for me, whenever I think of a racetrack map, I know this map is kind of, you know, I guess in the grand scheme of things it would be considered quote-unquote old now, but, like, I still always come here. I mean, this has been a mainstay map for me in terms of modded maps in Snowrunner because it's so well made, it's so much fun to use, and it's so much fun to do laps around this track with your friends. And going around a lot of these corners, especially on the dirt section, this thing absolutely excels. I mean, I don't even have to lift off the throttle in the corners. It handles incredibly well to the point to where it just leans over, plants with the grip, and just sticks and goes. And if it does slide, it's extremely easy to manage and correct. So let's stay with the dirt course, because the dirt course, I think, is where this thing really shines and really excels. And the suspension tuning, I mean, it's on another level. Look at the way it soaks up these bumps. Now, again, it's not necessarily the fastest thing in the world, but... Okay, so 7th gear is probably... Or not 7th gear, sorry. Uh, high range is probably about the equivalent of 7th gear. It's not exactly the... It's not exactly the fastest high range in the world, but it's definitely enough to sort of handle whatever you're trying to get done. I would love to see, I think for me, and again, this is not necessarily like, you know, criticizing the mod or, or saying it needs to have this, but I would love to see maybe like one more engine or one more gearbox that's like maybe a race tune. And it probably doesn't even need another engine setup. I mean, the, the, probably this top engine setup is most likely fine. Um, it would be just nice to see maybe a race gearbox setup that had you know, nine gears instead of eight, because it almost feels like, with a lot of these jumps, it almost feels like it's right there, you know what I mean? It's like right there, but it can't quite make it, and I wish that that was like, I wish there was like one more gear, and make it over the top, there we go! This jump is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be an oof, unless we can make it, I mean, I'm flat out in eighth gear, nope! So that went well, now, I do want to take it to the balance track real quick, because I do feel like it might able it might be able to do well on the balance track. Now, that 
very, very heavily depends on the track width of the actual car. And oh, it's actually a little narrow. Normally, I'm worried about the wheels going over the, uh, the outer edges. This, I'm worried about the wheels going over the inner edges. It, uh, it can't make it past the, bruh. I mean, I guess we are technically on, like, an all-terrain tire, but I figured they'd be decent enough grip. I mean, let's go to something maybe a little bit grippier. Maybe this? A little grippier, a little bit wider? Let's go back and see if that changes anything. Come on. Oh, God. All right, slow down. These are definitely not as good on pavement as the last tires were. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, they're, that, that makes sense. At least that makes sense to me. If they were as good on pavement as the other tires, I'd be a little worried. All right, lock it in low and just leave it there. Oh, yeah, nice and easy. I wonder if, I wonder if the reason why we weren't making it up with the other tires may have been solely because we were just in automatic mode too much. Definitely working with the steering a lot, though, to make sure it doesn't go into the middle. All right, down the ramp. Easy. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, 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 it dipped a wheel. Oh, no. Oh, that was my bad, though. Dude, that was totally my bad. We could have gone so much farther with this little thing. And I definitely think it's got so much potential. It's got so much promise. But, like, I definitely want to come back here in the future and see, you know, how much farther I can actually get. But at the end of the day, if you're looking to add something to your garage that has... A like a very very cool level of just charm to it and really will do a great job of kind of refreshing your garage lineup definitely check this thing out it's it's actually a really fun little vehicle to drive and if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below hit that like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time